Are you ready, kids? <laughs> Are you? I mean, I'm awake. You're I'm awake. Still energized. Hold on. Five high fives. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Why did you count to four before you counted to five? <sighs> I don't know. One, two, three, four, one, two. Should we start like a that. band? <laughs> of course we should start a band. Joke. Jay and Ben start a band. <laughs> Jay versus one, Ben. Yeah. We both start bands and then go to battle of the bands and then whoever wins, wins a point. One With point. One point. <laughs> one point. Yeah. So we just have to like, yeah. like this like competition learn, goes on forever. Learn how to <laughs> write music and find a band and play the music and go in front of a audience of people where an awards are given. You're tacky and I hate you. And whoever comes out uh, victorious be the victor. Okay, do we have to, by victorious mean that we win the battle of the bands or that we just simply beat the other person ranking wise? I think it would be giving us way too much credit <laughs> to assume we could win the battle of the bands. Right, yeah, I, yeah, me too. Given that most of the, most everybody else inside of the competition has probably been practicing for a lot longer than us. Like their whole life. Like their whole life maybe, yeah, yeah or even, even like longer than since this idea was originated like 30 seconds ago. Well, you know, good for them. What would you play? Tryhards. Yeah, saxophone. Violin. <laughs> Hello. What a what a hard <laughs> instrument to learn. <laughs> Didn't you play trumpet? trumpet? Yeah. No one wants to hear rock trumpet. Hey, hey brother, brother, and welcome everyone to the fluffiest Hufflepuff quiz on the internet. <laughs> the fluffiest. Yeah. No, I always say ultimate or hardest, but we're like we're just you know toughing some fluffs over here. Did did you would you say? that you committed so hard to Fluffiest that the title of this video has the word Fluffiest in it. Well, it must have to now. I, mean, I think we're, we're pretty firmly committed. Yeah, the Fluffiest Hufflepuff quiz ever. I'm not gonna lie, I feel kind of comforted. Yeah. I like that. I know. Yeah, it so feels like the Gryffindor common room always seems like such a cozy place, but like, you know, no, it's, if they it's, went- It's squashy, okay? It's It's a squashy place, but I feel like if you went down to like the Hufflepuff common room, it would be like, like what's squashy, what's even squashier? What, what's, know? yeah, the fluffy. Fluffy, it's like fluff. It's like you That's sit the down. Difference. You sit down, like feathers kind of come out, but like not in a bad way. But not in a bad way, right? It's, they're it's, just sort of magical, so they don't like land or get on you. They just go, Pff, and then they disappear. And they disappear. Yeah, I like it. Yes. And it smells like honey. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Let's dive on in. In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Kangaroo Cat is on the other end of the camera. She's waving, we can see her, but you cannot. She's going to be reading us today's 10 standard fluffy questions, plus an additional five questions from our quiz masters over on Patreon. Ben and I will have to answer all the questions completely from memory, but if we both have no idea, Kangaroo Cat can give us the multiple choice. And if you'd like to play along, there's a link to this quiz in the description down below. You, you, you're like, if you'd like to play along. Yeah. So. Like, hey, what don't you? And if what, you, I, you know well, what? let me just yeah. shake a finger at you. I feel, like, I feel like more people saw that and they were like, that's it, I'm going to the description. I, I, I'm doing what? it, I'm doing it. That's like at least I 10 more people. I work very hard on making these quizzes pretty, so. Yes, yes, indeed. Yes. No, so it's just, not that hard. So just it's go just admire Kat's work and then Thanks. You, yeah, tell her about it. And then let us know Appreciate whether or not you beat us in the comments. I do also try really hard to make really good uh, wrong answers too that the guys never see. Oh. So anybody's gonna, the only people that are gonna okay, see it are the people that take the quiz with you. You you guys can go click on the quiz and appreciate all of Kat's wrong answers. Wow. So whenever we do the live Thank trivia, so coming up with the wrong answers is way more fun. It really is. Than any other part of it. Yeah, I know. yeah but time. My problem is I always want to be humorous with yeah. the wrong ones. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, well, that's obvious, but it's yeah. funny. It but is. it's funny. I want it to be funny. <laughs> right, you yeah. need like a good like obvious, where the question's already so, the answer's so obvious anyway, that it's like, it's okay to have some, some humor yeah. in, some the, humor. Uh, in yeah. the wrong ones. Yeah. Right. Right. Hashtag Maldivort. Yes, hashtag Maldivort. Maldivort. Yeah. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you know, you know. You know. You know. All right, Ick, Ick. let's dive on in. All righty, question number one. What is the first name of the founder of Hufflepuff House? Oh, man. I know this one. I, know I don't know if you know this, this about me, guys, but I really like um, consistency. <clears throat> You know what? That's it's just it's good to be <laughs> consistent why, across quizzes. Which is yeah. why it gives all the it quizzes. more of like a through line. Yeah, a continuity. Yeah. That's if what you will. I thought. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. Helga. 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 Oh, I like the little heart. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Helga. Uh, Very nice. Very nice. Helga Ooh, is correct. Helga Miss Hufflepuff. Helga Hufflepuff. What's a Hufflepuff? Question two. <laughs> what type of gems 
fill the Hufflepuff house points hourglass? I can only guess, but I think this is right uh, based on one very d direct reference, which I bet you are the same thing. I, very direct reference. Yeah. We'll just see. Okay. I'll explain it in a second. Okay, one, two, three. Topaz. I said topaz. It is actually yellow diamonds specifically. Wow. What? It's, uh, I would have just taken diamonds, but. <clears throat> wow, yellow diamonds. I don't diamonds. know why it's yellow diamonds. Yellow but. diamonds. Hell gonna be rolling in it. That's Seriously. honestly kind of why I included <laughs> this as one of the through line questions, because I was like, they probably won't get that one specifically. Uh, well, I, because <laughs> I, I didn't know that. <laughs> so my direct reference was that in the game Diablo 2. Oh. Yes. Okay, yeah, I was thinking the, Diablo 2 too. The yellow gems are topazes. Ah, uh, yes, yes. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But I mean, yep. yellow, I think topazes are just- They just are yellow. yellow gems. Yeah. yeah. But it's like one of those, I was like, I don't recall the word topaz being in Harry Potter, but yellow gems are just topazes, right? I didn't. I yeah. didn't recall <coughs> the word hamburger being in the first book as many times as it is. Four but, times. That's true. Yeah, four times. The first like eight chapters, yeah. and then never and again. Then never after again that. in the entire series Probably is the word not. hamburger mentioned. Very muggle word. Did we look that up? Yeah, we looked huh. it up for uh, through the Gryffindor. Okay, gotcha. Because the word hamburger just kept coming up. I do remember. Yeah, I do remember those episodes. I just didn't know if we had confirmed the the lack of it in the rest of it. Now I'm drawing a hamburger. And now it's time for the first Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Chewy Badger and Dola and voted on by patrons. In Harry's fourth year, the Sorting Hat song mentioned where each Hogwarts founder oh, was from. No. Where is Hufflepuff from? Oh I no! I think this is right. I should have looked it up in between. <laughs> I think this is right. Man. Oh, not good. <clears throat> not good. Okay, let's see here. You got it. Oh. No. I know Maybe. this one. Okay. All right. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. What? <laughs> no. It. Uh, it's Valley. Oh, I almost wrote None Valley. None of these places are specific locations. <laughs> It's a valley? It's just, it's valley broad, technically, but yeah, valley. Oh, Isn't that man. in Wales? It just says valley broad, I don't know. <laughs> I, want, oh, we're gonna I think it's a descriptor. I don't think any of these places are like specific locations. I, I, I like will towns. accept that as the answer because the question is what does the sorting hat say, but I do yeah. think, it. I think she is from Wales. Okay. Oh, interesting. But. Huh. <clears throat> Think anyway. she's a fan of Wrexham Football Club? Probably. Man, that's so yeah. cool. <laughs> so am I. You know Helga. Total hooligan. <laughs> Big fan of Ryan Hel Reynolds. Helga Hopper hooligan pants. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Like three people out there are like, yeah, let's go Wrexham! Dude, definitely more people than that. You think like 14? At least. Yeah. Okay. yeah. At least. I mean, not, not 20, though. Not 20. I still haven't watched the Welcome to Wrexham, but it's on my list. Question four. What else is in the basement where the Hufflepuff common room is located? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was like, uh, this shouldn't take you that I long. I love that Hogwarts has a basement mm -hmm. and also dungeons. And also dungeons. Ah, yes, like, indeed. Is, are the dungeons not just a different basement? It, it does feel like, uh, this This feels like top bunk, bottom bunk, and when the four founders entered the school, Romina <laughs> yeah. and Godric were like, top bunk! Yeah, I know. <laughs> we get the towers! <laughs> and Salazar and Helga looked at each other and were like, well, dang it. Ugh. Dang it. It's like, and then Helga's like, I'll take the basement and then Salazar's like, what? <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, fine. I too will be in the basement, but I'm calling it the dungeons. <laughs> uh, mine's whimsy. Mine's, yeah, it sounds it sounds more dangerous. I'm not in the basement, I'm in the dungeons. Yeah, yeah, but but like I like to think that Salazar was more of like like a like not a bad boy who was like trying to be a bad boy. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Black leather jacket, but like Like know. he calls it the dungeon as a joke. He's like, why would we have a dungeon? We're just we're a school. Uh, we're man. a school. We're here. We're here. Like, no, it just sounds cool. Like, you know, so it's got like a it's got like a vibe. Yeah, you know? my, my kids are gonna be cool kids. Right. Also, I don't worry, I didn't build another secret basement either. Anyway, so one, two, three. Oh right, yeah. Oh. The kitchen. The kitchen. <laughs> the kitchens is correct. Mm -hmm. Basement Are correct. Food. That's the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> that feels like a great Hufflepuff t-shirt. Just, mmm, basement food. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I like that. Add that to the uh, the merch list. <laughs> yeah, just someone yell out to Isabel. <laughs> I need a shirt design. <laughs> mm, basement food. Maybe a button. 
Yeah, there you go. Or Maybe. A, pin. a button. A, yeah. Like, man, I remember back in elementary school, you could go to the front office <clears throat> on your birthday oh. and you, they would make you a button. What? Like with a button maker. That's amazing. I know, I thought it was the best thing I ever. I think I must have been missing out on this. You were, absolutely. Man. I would say happy birthday, Ben, all day. Well, I, I went by Benjamin back then, so. Oh, okay, uh, happy birthday, Benjamin. Yeah, Benjamin. Yeah. They made me write it, so I would usually do this type of thing. And then no, you like, have to write it. <laughs> so it's like that. Ben, yeah. Yeah. I know how big letters should be. Yeah. <laughs> I can space this out in my brain. I'm good at it's mental a, math. It's a John Mulaney bit for you. <laughs> Question five. Who did Tom Riddle kill to steal Helga Hufflepuff's cup? Mm. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, I got, you got you. It. I think we yeah. got it. Ready? One, two, three. Hepzibah Smith. Hepzibah Smith. Hepzibah Smith. And I think y'all both spelled it right. Nice. Good job. Yay! Yay. We've written a few theories about old Hepsy. Just a few. Yeah, just indeed. a few. He yeah. Old Hepsy. Old Hepsy. Sounds like a disease. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> okay. In fact, it sort of is. Old it might be. Hepsy. Oh, Hepsy. <laughs> you know what? I don't think she liked going by that. No, I don't think so either. No. Probably not. We'll, we'll, we'll amend that. Nickname. You know what is interesting about Hepsy Smith is that, like, you know Salazar must have had descendants because more, because obviously Voldemort is a descendant of Slytherin. Yes. Right. And Hepzibah is a descendant of Hufflepuff in some way. And you know that Rowena at least had a child, even though her descendancy ends there. But like Godric has no known descendants. None. Like, and he's like, he's painted as like the best one or whatever, like such a likable guy. So noble, so chivalrous. Yeah. How chivalrous is he being that he's not like, he's not like married or something with a kid. I guess he could have been married without having a kid, but... He could have been. It's possible. Yeah. It seems like there should be some Gryffindor descendants. I don't know. I feel I feel like he was more like the kind to like close down the three broomsticks. Well, you know, like, yeah. They're like, all right, man, go home. Look, th but go was... home. <laughs> but it's not a bar. <laughs> that doesn't mean he couldn't have kids either. Yeah, that's true. You could you can be the life of the of the bar, the life of the bar, the life of the bar, the life of the barty. <laughs> he probably was. There's got there has got to be. I think we made a video suggesting that Dumbledore is the descendant of Godric. I mean, there is yeah, the Dumbledore, Dumbledore, Dumbledore right? Gryffindor. Yeah, right there. Just got lost in translation somewhere along the way. <laughs> yeah, it feels that feels like something. We would you know have done. what Gryffindor probably lifted? Dumbbell. Doors. Dumbbell. Dumbbells. Oh, doors. dumbbells. Because dumbbells. He's like yeah. Lifting weights. Because he's yeah. He's, he's, yeah, he's, he's a bro. He's getting swole. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> weird. That's like. Let me. Out here. <laughs> so many good merch this, ideas. This was like maybe this one of the weirdest like progressions <laughs> that we've had in between any question ever. <laughs> good. Good. History being made over here. That's right. That's right. And now it's time for the second quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Dorian R, Hannah Gear, and Travis Peacock. Ooh, that um, was a very dramatic underline. I'm really enjoying whatever settings are on this iPad today. It <laughs> yes. makes my writing less horrid. Who were selected as prefects <clears throat> in Harry's fifth year in from Hufflepuff House? Okay, okay. Oh, um, I, th I think it has to be. Yeah, I think this is right. Hold Probably. on. Probably. <clears throat> um, who am I not thinking of? Maybe it's right. Okay, I'm gonna go with it. I'm yeah. gonna go with it. Don't overthink it. Yeah. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. One, right. two, three. I said Hannah Abbott and Ernie McMillan. I said the same. <coughs> but That's old DA lags. But in reverse. Uh, yes, that is correct. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ernie yeah. McMillan, the, the Jim Dale voice of Ernie McMillan when he says, us old DA lags. <laughs> one of my favorite sentences <laughs> in the whole book. It really is. It's so, like, it's, it's I don't remember so, that one. <laughs> like Ernie McMillan was just like a like a slughorn in the making. Right. You know, really? like he yeah. just like loved to like that he was like a part of right. the DA. Just like, a little bit. Ah, high yes, we, yeah. we go way back. I know. Like, it was last year, Ernie. Calm down. <laughs> We're 16. We're 16. The war is still happening. Right, yeah. yeah. It's not like we're like forty seven yeah. over like a That's like a like a brandy legs. in the smoking room. Right, yeah. <laughs> like closing down the three broomsticks after the war. <laughs> <laughs> Who is he? Godric Gryffindor? <laughs> go catch up with some old DA lags. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh question seven. Before the sorting ceremony in Harry's first year, who was the fat friar, Hufflepuff's ghost, talking to about peeves? Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Ah! I've done something. 
before the sorting ceremony. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who uh, Why are you writing so much? I'm just doodling now. <laughs> <laughs> Before the sorting ceremony, who mm-hmm. was the fat friar talking to about peeves? Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. I said Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington. <laughs> it is indeed Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington. Darn it! Yeah. I said the bloody That's bear. That's right. I do a yeah. picture to go with it. That- <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very well done. Very, Very good. Much artful. I'm yeah, sure I think they're talking come about give like me a high five for how for my art. Very well done. What are you drawing? Gryffindor. At the bar. <laughs> Looks like at the gym. Look how strong he is. Whoa! <laughs> Look at his muscles. He's totally ripped. <laughs> wow. I like his square elbow line. I like how bald he is. <laughs> Where's the sword, Ben? Oh, hang on. Surely we can draw a sword. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <Spot on>. so pretty. <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> it's like Caillou. <laughs> Much dangerful. I, you know what? I would love if Gryffindor had like a name for his sword that was like lost to time, and everyone else just calls it the Sword of Gryffindor, mm-hmm. and he's just like, no. No, it was like Lion Slayer or something. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on. I That'd like that. Lion slash probably not right. Yeah, right, that feels it was yeah. probably like like <clears throat> not like what he would want. <laughs> lion tamer. Sure. Oh, it's lion tamer is better. Well, it's better. Yeah. yeah. I would still say it's only it's, it's only, a work in progress. Yeah. yeah. And, any any other suggestions that you have for the true name of the sort of Griffin Oil yeah. in the towel section down below. Please. Also all the Hufflepuffs in the audience right now are like, dude, it's finally our moment. <laughs> Why are we talking about God so much? I know. Kat's even wearing a Hufflepuff hat. I am, right now. I am the tr- a true Hufflepuff. <coughs> I'm wearing my hat and you're not even respecting me. It's me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kat. No, am I not, also not. a Hufflepuff as of this year? Yeah, technically. Go puff. Go puff. T puff. Check that. Alrighty. Um, question eight. What were Professor Sprout and a group of students throwing over the castle walls at Death Eaters during the Battle of Hogwarts? Mm, it was... was it this? Or was I think it was. I guess it could be that. I don't want to say it was this though. Mm. I'm feeling like I'm remembering that more. Like this seems like a weird thing to throw. But also, oh man, okay. I don't know. Okay, I'm um, I'm going to. I'll X that one. I'll leave this one. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I said mandrakes. I said mandrakes too. It is mandrakes. Yes. yes. Oh, oh man. Booyah. What was I your was other answer? Venomous tentacula. Oh. I know. I read that and I was like, you didn't put that. I don't know why I didn't look at what was boxed in. But mandrakes yes, was that boxed is, in. Mandrakes was boxed in. You're right. Okay, so I was. Okay. Broadcasting stop. My brain just went dumb. And now it's time for the third quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Nikki and voted on by patrons. What color was Tonks' hair the first time Harry meets her? Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. It's a violent shade of pink. Oh, I said a bubblegum pink. Oh, <clears throat> you were very close. It was a violet shade of violet. Oh, a violet shade of vi- I almost thought like- Violet? You're turning violet. Violet? <laughs> I, I thought that it was purple at first. But then you said there was the modifier and I was like, oh wait, violent shade of pink sounds more correct. But then I was also like, I know he comes downstairs and Tonks has changed her hair to a bubblegum pink. Mm-hmm. And I was like, uh, it'd also yeah, kind of be weird yeah. for her to change her from, like for Harry to be discerning enough about the color pink to go from, well, it was more of a violent shade of pink and now it's more of a bubblegum pink. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So he's like, hello, yeah. pull up my color wheel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my Pantone color sheet here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work at a Home Depot. I know the entire sure one line. Exactly, right? <laughs> oh. oh man, anyway, on that note though, I'm gonna take a quick pause. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Have fun. Thanks. Don't trip. Fun. Hello and welcome, everybody, as ever, to the scenic group, where today I need to tell you about the Super Carlin Brothers. Wait, that's us. 
And that's right. Specifically, I would like to tell you about our shirt club over on Patreon, where each quarter we design a very cool and specific t-shirt that is exclusively available for patrons. For the past several quarters, we've been doing these really cool book inspired shirts where right now I'm wearing like a book four style shirt where you've got like the goblet and the maze and a mermaid and a dragon and it's shaped like an egg. But I am so excited for this quarter shirt, which is gonna be showing off book five, which you can check out right here. I personally think it looks absolutely amazing. If you would like to secure one for yourself, you can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and selecting the shirt club tier. Link in the description down below. Guys, welcome back to the Scenic Table where today I am pleased to tell you about today's sponsor, MeUndies. Because with Valentine's Day just around the corner, there is almost no better time to consider MeUndies. Whether you've already experienced the joy of their breathable, stretchy, and oh-so-comfy signature fabric and want to share it with someone else or just want to find the perfect matching set for your special person, they have got you covered. And as a special treat, you guys, I have even taken the time to scribe a poem for you to include in your card this year. <clears throat> Roses are red, violets are blue, but me undies are softer, just like my love for you. On Valentine's Day, I give you this treat, cozy and snug for your every heartbeat. With patterns so fun and colors so bright, in me undies, let's cuddle all day and all night. So here's to comfort and togetherness too. Happy Valentine's Day, my darling, from me, to you. You're welcome. I feel like I was giving it sort of a night before Christmas read. I don't know, what'd you think? And I am speaking from experience here, you guys. Like I have been a subscriber of Me Undies for a very long time now. It is like all that is in my underwear drawer at this point. And like, you really can't go wrong. So do yourself a favor and just knock it out of the park this Valentine's Day with MeUndies. And you can get 20% off your first order plus free shipping at MeUndies.com slash Speed. That is MeUndies.com slash Speed for 20% off plus free shipping. MeUndies, comfort from the outside in. All right, question 10. What was Cedric Diggory's wand core? Mm, man, uh, it feels like has to be, has to be, has to be. Already one, two, three. The unicorn hair. It's his unicorn yeah. hair. Yeah, yeah. He's so he's such there's, a unicorn. I mean, there's no way in the world they they would be like, oh, it's a phoenix <clears throat> tail feather. I don't think we know of a single other character that has a phoenix tail feather. At, at least nobody of any amount of like noteworthiness. Right. Yeah. Not yeah. like a main character in the book. I'm sure. Yeah. Maybe if you go to the the wiki page, they can list someone else. There's inevitably like I bet it's like some like shopkeeper or something. You right. Know? It's like it's like Florian Fortescue. It's like right. Oh, Do we know what Dumbledore's like original wand core was? Like that he got from like Ollivander when he was Our 11? theory is that it is also a Thestral hair. That is our uh, theory yeah. and that it is the brother wand of the Elder Wand. Right, oh, okay. so even in, even in Crimes of Grindelwald, when Grindelwald has the Elder Wand and is fighting Dumbledore, they their wands connect and there is like the golden bead. Yeah. Right, like, yeah. Which, so like, and then that would explain uh, why Dumbledore knows about Priori and Cantatum and can explain the twin cores to Harry later on. That yes. makes sense. So yeah, when Harry gets, <clears throat> and if you look at it through that lens, then when Harry gets back and he's like, yeah, our wand's connected. And then Dumbledore's like, holy butts. Yeah. <laughs> like, and he's like, I know exactly what happened to you. Oh yeah. my God. Cause it's happened to me. Yeah. With the very wand I'm holding. Yep. There you go. But someone else was holding it then. That's true. Yeah. Question 11. How many times did Hufflepuff win the House Cup while Harry was a student at Hogwarts? Give it to me one more time. How many times did Hufflepuff win the House Cup while Harry was a student at Hogwarts? This feels, uh, okay. Did you write something? I wrote something, man. Yeah, I got it. The House Cup. The House Cup. Like, we're talking like Dumbledore <clears throat> at the end of the year tabulating, like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harry gets 60 points. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> back of the oh, napkin, math. <laughs> I didn't, I meant 60. Uh, Neville! Uh, <laughs> Neville gets 10 points for getting jinxed. Mm. Mm, very impressive. Well done, Gryffindor. <sighs> it feels like a trick question. I know what you mean. It kind of does. So the question is, is it, or is it just posing as a trick question? Is it posing as a trick question? Right. Oh! Now wait one hot second. 
I've just considered something. Have you considered something? I have considered something. Should I consider something? Well, well. I can't tell if you're just manipulating me because it's, it's working. <laughs> Hold on, I have to uh, cheat. I, um, this is fun. I have my reasons. Okay, yeah. ready? Yeah. One, two, three. One. I also said one. It's none. It it's not, I had zero. I had zero, and I was like, oh, "Did they give it to Cedric? Did they? Did they Cedric? Did That's they what Cedric? I thought. I thought maybe Dumbledore was like, out of memory to Cedric no. Diggory, I'm awarding Harry Potter." There are a couple of years where we don't know and assume that it's Gryffindor, but. Yeah, it stopped being such a big deal. I yeah. I really I had Due zero. Due to the death of the very yeah. prominent Hufflepuff <laughs> character. I know. Okay, so it, I had zero written out immediately. I was like, and then I was like, Ooh, well, maybe it is Cedric. Then you started like, thinking about it. I was like, oh man. Oh no! I know. I got, yeah. I got I too deep in the tank. Thinking about it. <laughs> I had none written down, and I then know. I was like, and then you got all. Yeah, at least we lost it together. Exactly. We lost it together. Yeah. Exactly. We That's lost good. it together. We win together. We lose together. <laughs> exactly. Except I am winning right now. I could even if they gave it to Hufflepuff, I feel like Dumbledore would be like, I'm awarding <clears throat> Harry Potter seventy points to Hufflepuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Wait, what? <laughs> yes, How does that done. work? <laughs> yeah. Harry, who had to go and witness Cedric's death, in his name, I will be awarding Hufflepuff House with seventy <laughs> points. Right. Like, wait, why not give it to Cedric? He's dead. Uh, that's not how the glasses work. That's not how the glasses work. <laughs> Plus, can't I'm award home. points to the dead people. Plus, Harry's my favorite. Wait, the what? <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for the fourth quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Law Ninja and voted on by patrons. Who does Professor Sprout dance with at the old <clears throat> oh, Man, mm, think who? Who? Uh, get in there. Uh, who could it be? <laughs> that was actually Luke Skywalker. <laughs> I was gonna say, are you doing Luke Skywalker inside of uh, the trash compactor where he's yeah. like, where could they be? Three <laughs> PO. Or maybe it's a trick question. Hmm? Ooh, oh, uh, you wouldn't. I think no. there's only one trick question on this. I think. And we've already I, had I, it. I didn't even write this one. We've already had the trick question. Yes. <laughs> okay. 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 I was like, I mean, there's hard questions, but <clears throat> they're not trick questions. Okay, well, that at least rolls out someone. Oh, what are you doing? He's are you doing illustrating? something very small. Mm. Mm. Okay, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Wait, wait. I said Dumbledore. It is Dumbledore. Oh, no! <laughs> <clears throat> did, is that what you thought would have been a trick answer? Me? I thought. No, Jay. I thought if you said Moody and the answer was Barty Crouch Jr., uh, uh, no, no, that no, would no, have no, been a no, trick no. answer. I would have taken either answer if that was the answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that would have been, that would have been, been definitely. Been tricksy. Yeah. That Lady. feels like the sort of thing they'd get you for in high school, though. It'd be like, hey, Wait, don't yeah. forget, kids. Uh -huh. yeah. It's not really Moody, is yeah. it? <laughs> yeah. I won't like, name drop her, but my 11th grade English teacher, 100% if you're out there listening right now. <laughs> I know you know. You know who you are. Colorless, odorless gas. I'll never get over it. Uh. <laughs> okay. mm. Question 13. What is the name of the Hufflepuff House member who founded Hogsmeade? The Hufflepuff House. I know for a fact you have at least heard this person's name before. Oh, okay. Hufflepuff House member founded Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade. Yeah. This once again goes back to my theory that I feel like the school was originally intended to be a safe haven for wizards. Oh. As it feels like yeah. it would be very even in. Okay. So okay. We'll, we'll take the lot. We'll take everyone else. Take mm. <clears throat> so it's like, if you need a place to go, we'll, we'll provide that I'm place. There, we'll be right? that place. Yeah. But eventually it became a school. So then they had to make a town for like all those people to live. Mm. And of course it would be Hufflepuff. Naturally. We'll take the lot. Yeah. Naturally. Godric was too busy with the bar. Exactly. <laughs> I'm, yeah. sure, I'm sure Gryffindor's descendants were like, is there a place to drink? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. People are thirsty. <clears throat> you know why it's called the three broomsticks? Because was, there wasn't one for Helga. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Even though 
She has barrels of wine outside of her. It probably wasn't. You know what? It probably took a bit. Oh, that'd be such a fun bit of lore. What just happened? If hey, this is how it happens, <laughs> Jay, this is how Jay, it happens. Jay, it would be Jay, such Jay, a fun bit of that. lore if you were making the founder series and like during the show it was called the four broom sticks and then like after Slytherin leaves it's the three broom sticks. <gasps> oh, right? Oh, I like that. You're welcome. I like that. <clears throat> Because <laughs> they come back from all their missions on their brooms, and they go and have a right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, like a like a tall drink of water. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, that's what they're ordering. <laughs> it's the giggle water. Yeah. <laughs> I. <laughs> Cat was drinking water when I did that. She's, she's about, about to she's literally. About to spew. She's like a like a like a violent shade of. <laughs> Oh, man. That was funny. I wish everybody, I wish we had a, a backwards facing camera. <laughs> no. Jay, I would go multiple choice. Okay, here. let's yeah. do it. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. A, Grogan Stump. B, Hengist of Woodcroft. <laughs> C, Bridget Wenlock. Or D, Willa Weholt. Maybe Weholt? Feels like it would be Weholt. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. B. I said B. It is B. Yes. <laughs> Hang is the wind drop. I gave you the, the clue that got that. One. That was. <laughs> I have Ethan done that. spent so long on that guy's name. I know. I like. I kind of forgot about that whole bit, and then Ethan like was reviewing the quiz before we did this, and he was like. Hengist of Woodcroft was like an actual person. I was like, well, in the yeah, in the thing. He's like, oh, okay. Hengist of Woodcroft. Hengist. I think Hengist. the entire time we were doing that joke in the other video, not once did we look up what he actually did. Yep. <laughs> he was the founder of, of Hogsmeade. Well, there you go. Hogsmeade. He is listed on the known Hufflepuff members list on the Wikipedia page. Uh, oh, question boy. 14. Who commissioned Newt Scamander to write Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them? Question 14. Is this a person? Question 14. <laughs> I was able to write the number of the question in my top left corner. Um, Good job. Who commissioned Newt Scamander? Is this a is a person? It's a person, yes. It's a person. Yeah. I think he's like the editor of a, of a something, but or like. Well, golly jeepers! But I've got uh, the person on here because I don't remember the other thing's name. This is listed at like the very top of his Wikipedia page. Oh man! All yeah. right. Well, I would get multiple choice. I would get multiple choice yeah. as well. Sure. Yeah. We got a. Bunty Broadacre, B, Augustus Warm, C, Henry Bumblepuffed, and D, Heliotrope Wilkins. Wilkins? Wilkins. Wilkins. I heard Wilkins as I know. well. Wilkins? He's so Wilk woke. Wilkins. <laughs> Wilkins. <clears throat> That's pretty okay. close, honestly. Heliotrope. Okay. Yeah. All right. I have an answer. Yeah, I have an answer. All right. Ready? One, yeah. two, three. I said Wilkins. I also said Wilkins. <laughs> Wilkins. Uh, no, it's Augustus Worm. Oh, Augustus man. Worm. Wait. Worm? W O R M E. I thought you said warm. Worm. Worm. Well, worm. Uh, Augustus Worm. Well, uh, worm, worm is a worm. creature, so I might have said that. Yeah. Bunty is. <laughs> isn't that his, uh, yeah, assistant. That's his assistant? Yeah. 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 Okay, knew that, knew that. I just couldn't find another person <coughs> that was like ex tangentially related to Newt Scamander. Yeah. On the way, well, his page like, wrong answer. What says you you write a book, eh? Yeah. That was not how Bunty talks. <laughs> not even a little bit. <laughs> I love I love how they just like had Bunty in there just to sort of like <laughs> like I don't know, be all of us as Newt gets out of the water. Yeah. yeah. You know? It's like Right. Nice. Nice. Way nice. to go, Eddie Redmayne. Yeah. Good on Dude, you, man. I cannot, I'm still, I'm still salty that Bunty wasn't just Tina in disguise. Yeah. For yeah. the whole third movie. I they know. even have this like big, she's walking up the stairs like, guess who? Yeah. And I was like, here's going to be the big moment. Yeah. No one saw her because it was her in disguise the whole time. Yep. I mean, they used Paul Jim Tosin for literally everything else. Everything. Yeah. It would have been so great. <sighs> anyway. Anyway. And now it's time for the fifth and final Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Josephine and voted on by patrons. How many Hufflepuffs were at the initial DA meeting in the Hog's Head? Oh, man. Bonus point if you can name them all. Uh, okay. Uh, 
<laughs> we already talked about old, old lags. Oh, we know they were in there. We know there. that guy's there. Um, <clears throat> and then there's, there's, you know. <laughs> there's that guy. Yeah, so let's see. Um, I mean, right? Basically, I think. It seems, well, I'll, I'll say that after this. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I don't think I can name them. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. I said three. I said four. There are five. 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 Hannah Abbott, Zachariah Smith, Ernie McMillan, Justin Finn Fletcher. Oh, JFF was there. Susan Bones. Susan, Susan Bones. Bones. Susan. Oh, I should have remembered you. I'm I so mad. She I was don't... listed at the beginning as like a you know a dark haired girl with like a long plait. I always think everybody's name in Hufflepuff sounds like they like like they belong in Hufflepuff. Like they belong in Hufflepuff, yeah. but I don't know what it is about like these specific names that make them sound Hufflepuffly. Right. It's but probably then, just because you've known them for so long to be in Hufflepuff. That no, I know like, what you mean though. There's like an intangibleness about their names that yeah, like it, like it's almost got like a like a warmth or something that comes off, like a rounded. I was gonna say it's probably like that whole like the like the Kiki versus Bobo or whatever. I don't remember. Like some words are round and some words are spiky. Oh yeah, it you could be right. Yes, 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 yes. I don't think those are the actual words that are used in the right. Phenomenon, but like but like when you hear them, they have a certain like. These Hate names have them. a fair bit of rounded. I would I would I would say Justin Finch Fletchley has more of a sharpness to it than like Hannah Abbott does. Hannah yeah, Abbott has and like quite Zacharias, a he's like the, he's like the mean one. Zachariah Smith is always the one that I confuse as a Ravenclaw. Like I, yeah. I think he he's the one that I would say has a spikiness to him. But then like so Slytherin has this too, where you can always tell the Slytherin names because like they're sort of like Strode. mean. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like Crab, Goyle, Malfoy, Snoop. Yeah. Slug. Yeah. Slug. Slug. Blaze. Pansy yeah. Parkinson, do, though, doesn't really fit into that. Yeah, maybe not Pansy Parkinson, but then the like. Pansy's very like, it's a pansy. <clears throat> it's a like pansy. A no, she is like, punk face Parkinson. <laughs> that is how she is described, but yeah. like the, the name Pansy is very like soft. Yeah. You're not wrong. You're That's not true. wrong. But then That's the true. Gryffindor, like, I think the Gryffindors and Ravenclaws don't have this as much. Like, yeah. they just they just sort of have, reg like, well, not like regular names, like, like Weasley's got like a wizardiness about it. Yeah. It does. And like Hermione, I mean, she's Muggleborn, so she shouldn't have anything, but yeah. it is like an unusual name. It is, yeah. 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 <clears throat> Weasley's most of them though. <laughs> yeah. Lee Man. Jordan. Lee Jordan. So do we tie? I think we, we tie. tie. Are we yeah. tied Man, for We're whole tied year? for three in a row? Eight for eight. eight Come eight, on. Eight, eight and eight. Apparently we know. Susan Bones. <laughs> Apparently we know. Our houses. We need like Pretty a well. we need like a pin pack for this episode. I know, <laughs> like, yeah. a, like a sticker sheet or something. I yeah, feel like we had a lot of good ones. We did. We had some zingers. Mm -hmm. We had some good zingers. Good we'll work on that episode. for you guys. Um, as ever, be sure to let us know how you did in the towel section down below. Oh, people are like, how'd you forget Susan Benz? I know. I know. Yeah. Here's the thing. Even if I remembered her, I only would have said four because I I just didn't think Justin Finch Fletchley was there. Yeah. <sighs> At least Whatever. you had JFF. I, I couldn't did. remember. I can never remember Zachariah Smith. Is 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 it two words, Finch Fletchley, or is it I think just JF? I think it's Finch Dash Fletchley. Finch Dash Fletchley. So how would you would would you for his initials would you do JFF? I personally would, yeah. 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 Okay. JFF. JFF. Yeah. Jeff. 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 I bet his middle name is also Ernie. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeffrey Ernie Finch Fletchley. Ernie, Ethan. Oh, Evan. I probably should have oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Jeff. <laughs> yes, Jeff. <laughs> we are so off the rails today. We, this was quite an off the rails one. You must maybe choke. It's fine. <laughs> but now we need to give a huge thank you to our quiz masters over on Patreon. Huge shout out to Chewy Badger, Dola, Dorian R, Hannah Gear, Travis Peacock, Nikki, Law Ninja, and Josephine. If you would like to try to stump us in a future episode of J vs. Ben, you can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and selecting the quiz masters tier. But good luck, because we're basically undefeatable. Neither of us has defeated the other one all year. So good luck. Wow. That's a good point. Yeah. 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 We're basically like uh Owen six and oh in that regard. Yeah, there there have been no losses at exactly, all. Exactly. Right? Wow. Wow. Yeah. What if this just continues for the whole year and we get to the last episode and it's like, <laughs> it's like wow. We're so even. You would think at some point in time we'd <clears throat> forget like who is doing what or who is where inside of the game, but 
you know, like if it, if we keep tying, it will always be easy to remember that we're still currently tied. Anyway, if you'd like to be a quiz master, head on over to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and select the quiz master's tier. <laughs> Guys, as ever, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you wanna see our Gryffindor quiz, cause apparently we just love Gryffindor over here, you can check out this video right here, but otherwise until next time, bye. bye.